So why was Woodenville Whiskey Company just awarded the 2020 San Francisco Spirit Award competition's best straight bourbon whiskey? Let's find out right now. Hey everybody, welcome back to the My Bourbon Dirty Whiskey Review Channel. My name is Scott. If you're new to this channel and you're looking for reviews of different whiskeys such as bourbons, rye, American style whiskeys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you're hitting the bell notification that will simply alert you to when I'm doing new uploads or live streams. So Woodenville Whiskey Company just won the 2020 uh, San Francisco World Spirits Award uh, competition, double gold for the best straight um, bourbon whiskey. So congratulations, first of all, to them. So today what I want to do is get into this and really kind of dive into why this was um, awarded, you know, such a prestigious uh, award. I mean, it's basically one of the top um, whiskey competitions in all of the world. So let's dive into it a little bit today. So again, Woodenville Whiskey Company uh, out of Woodenville, uh, Washington. A uh, little bit of information regarding their process. So what they do with their barrels is, or their, let's just back up a little bit, their wood portion is aged outside for upwards of 18 months. So they expose uh, all of the wood to all of the, the elements, uh, let all of that kind of do its magic, which will help to ultimately reduce uh, some of the tannic or tannins within the wood that can give it some harshness. So what they then do is take that wood, um, send it off to uh, Cooper, uh, they lightly toast those and then uh, we'll apply a heavy char uh, to the barrel. So that's just kind of starting out before the, uh, the spirit is even uh, put into the, into the barrel. So uh, again, Woodenville uh, bourbon, uh, straight uh, bourbon whiskey. This is a uh, pot still uh, distilled uh, bourbon whiskey. So comes in at 90 proof, 45% ABV, uh, non-age stated. Uh, mash bill was undisclosed, but it's a conventional mash bill of corn, rye, and malted barley. And MSRP on this is right around that $40 range, may creep up to depending on uh, where it is now. There is some, some more distribution now, which is really nice for the brand itself, uh, really getting that out there. But anyways, the uh, MSRP on this is right around, again, that $40 uh, price point. So what we'll do today is uh, I'm going to go through the appearance. We'll nose it, taste it, uh, then get into really anything else having to do with the uh, with the whiskey itself. So, all right, let's get into this here. So, as you can see, color-wise, it's a really nice, deep, dark, or rich copper type of color. And again, that's probably coming from um, you know again that that heavy char that's on there. I'm guessing at least uh, probably a char number four on those um, you know with that kind of color that's there. So. You know, a couple other things before we kind of get into uh, the nosing is, you know, move these whiskeys around in the glass, help introduce a little bit of air to them, let them open up a little bit. Um, that will generally speaking, um, kind of help to improve the overall nosing and tasting uh, of the bourbon um, itself. So, and then secondly is to kind of see how oily it is. And this is really, really nice and oily. Again, with it being pot distilled, uh, you generally will get a lot of those oils that are really remaining there. So this is really, really showing some nice oils on the glass. I don't know if it's picking it up very well on the camera, but it's clinging very, very well to the, to the glass. So, all right, more importantly, let's get into the review and uh, we'll get into the nosing here. Mm. So right away, this nice, rich, like dark, deep, like... Um, um, like dark fruit type of nose. Some nice sweet corn that's there. And just going back to the dark fruit, it's very like a cherry type of note. And not like a like a fake cherry, like a nice rich dark, um, dark cherry on that. Nice creamy caramel. Slight nutty characteristic to it. Um, even a little bit of like a, an herbal note. I know some people have have indicated like a like a root beer note but it is it's kind of that that herbal type of of note to it a little bit of black pepper there um and it's there's a really nice like vanilla note but it's like a like a creamy vanilla like a almost like a creamy um like a, a vanilla cream soda something along those lines 
Nice medium oak that's there. Not heavy oak by any means. It is a char number four or a heavy char, but it's not over oak by any means. Uh, and a little bit of chocolate that's there as well. Um, more of like a, like a baker's chocolate, not super, super sweet or anything like that. More of that, I don't want to say a bitter chocolate, but it's not an oversweet uh, chocolate. Yeah, really nice, really nice nose on it so far. So, all right, more importantly, let's, uh, let's see how this one tastes. Cheers. Uh, before we get into this, I'll take another sip. Uh, this is my first really sip of the day. So I want to get the palate a little more acclimated before I kind of get into, you know, trying to describe what it is that I'm tasting. So right away, great creamy mouthfeel. That's first and foremost. Coats the palate really, really well, which is very important. Kind of helps to allow some of those flavors to really develop, hit different parts of the, you know, your cheeks, um, side of the tongue, the palate, all of that. So it starts to coat it really well, get some nice flavors and stuff in there. But really, really nice, like a rye spice right off the bat, nice oak presence to it. This like buttery or, or very creamy caramel note to it, a really nice, almost like a, like a Werther's type of caramel, very rich and creamy. Again, a little bit of that sweet corn starts to come out a little bit in it. Again, some of that, that little bit of a, a black pepper type of note. Slight dryness to it. Even a little bit of a, like a maple nut um, type of, of note to it. I got some of the nuttiness before, but then that maple kind of kicked in. So you get some of that like maple nut uh, type of, of profile on this one. Very creamy, sweet, oaky, very well balanced so far. That chocolate kind of pops back up. And again, it's not an overly sweet chocolate. It's more of that baker, that baking chocolate. So you've got a little bit more of the like a, like a cacao type of, of note to it. So there's more, it's more kind of in your face chocolate than it is sweet. I, I don't want to say bitter because it's not bitter like in an off-putting way, but there's this just nice like baker's chocolate note to it. Yeah, just well-rounded, really well put together, um, creamy, which is, I keep coming back to that, but coats the mouth really, really well. Those rich caramels, that baking chocolate, that oak, that nice spice that's there. Uh, it's really, really well put together. Um, I mean, I can see why people have really been raving about the, the Woodenville. It's very exciting to see, you know, some other um, distilleries, you know, outside of Kentucky, that are really putting out some fantastic uh, bourbons, you know, with this obviously being one of them, so. Even a little bit of a leather note there I got on it. So dries out a little bit, not, not a whole lot. Um, so if you're concerned about like the, the heavier oak, which will have a tendency to sometimes dry out your palate a little bit, this is not that. There's a little bit of dryness there, but there's that lingering caramel sweetness that's there. That nice kind of creamy vanilla soda type of note, nice oak, nice spice. Just a really, really overall well put together, um, you know, bourbon. Again, it'll be really exciting to continue to follow them, see what they put out. I believe not long ago, um, they released their own bottle and bond. So we know a minimum of 100 proof, four years old. So they're really starting to do some, some really fun and interesting things. And I believe they even have a, a port finished um, uh, bourbon that they've introduced not that long ago as well. So again, it'll be interesting to, to continue to follow them along. So give them a try. I mean, as far as a buy recommendation or just my overall recommendation, I would say definitely give this a try. If this is popping up in your area and you can get it for around $40, 
I would say hands down, it's worth all of $40. So it's a really, really nice, well put together um, bourbon whiskey. So going back to that again, finish wise, as I've kind of continued to talk, it's all of a medium. Um, you know, you end up with a lot of those, those oak and some of that dried dark fruits, things along those lines. Again, that baker's chocolate, that nice rye spice that kicks in there, that creamy vanilla, that creamy caramel. So really, really nice, um, just well, again, well put together, um, you know, bourbon whiskey. So with that being said, so again, give these guys a try. Woodenville uh, Whiskey Company out of Woodenville, uh, Washington. Um, great, great bourbon. So again, with that being said, so like, subscribe. Uh, more importantly, leave some comments. Let me know your thoughts on this. Has this um, been something that's popped up in your area? Have you tried it? Your overall thoughts on on this bourbon itself. So is it worthy of the 2020 um, double gold that it won at the, uh, the San Francisco World uh, Spirits Award? Let me know that in the comments below. So uh, with that being said, so also if you'd like to help uh, support the channel, you can through my Patreon page, which I'll have linked in the description below. If you'd like to follow me, you can on Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, all of those places as well. So with that being said, and like I say, it's about the journey and not the destination. Cheers.